Hey, Scrum Along with Susan. In this video, I'm going to take what I did in my last video, which is create a pattern for 3D compound cut nameplate. So if you're interested in making your own pattern and your own design, take a look at that video first. In this video, I'm actually going to cut it out with the pattern. Sometimes I think the hardest part is once you have your pattern and you know the size that you want your piece of wood, and I strongly recommend one and a quarter inch you need to process the wood into that shape. Now it's easy to grab a two by four that is pine and use that for your first one. I did okay with it. I did a one and a half inch on both sides. It was a little tougher. Then I chose poplar and cut it at one and a quarter inch and it processed quite nicely. So here is my cutting of my nameplate. When you're cutting the piece of wood to use, make sure both sides are equal. Both of them should be one inch or one and a quarter inch. So that when you're cutting them, as you can see, it goes straight through. Everything will be at a 90 degree angle. I used spray glue here and applied the pattern directly to the wood. And now I'm over at my drill press, drilling all my pilot holes before I start cutting. Now, if you have something that's a little bit shorter than this, you may have to use some kind of a hold down clamp for it so that your fingers have a little bit more room to twist the piece around. Make sure your table is at 90 degree angles with your blade so that everything goes through nice, straight, and even. Take your time with this. And it doesn't matter if you cut all one side and then flip over and cut the other or cut one part and then flip and cut the other and continue on that way. Whatever way works better for you. Be careful not to use any clear packing tape on this too because a lot of times it will get caught underneath the packing tape to your paper and you won't be able to see. And then I'm taking off the um, outside of the pattern and anything that sticks a little bit, I'm just using paint thinner to get rid of the rest of the pattern before starting to do my sanding. And I've used all different kind of tools for sanding, get it on the inside and sand the outside, gently round over some of the edges a little bit, but take your time with this. And then I use just a simple paintbrush to clean out all of the sawdust from the inside and wipe it clean before I stain it. I just dip the whole piece in a bag full of walnut stain to give it a little bit of color and then let it dry and your piece is done. As always I want to thank you for watching and if you like what you see click that like button and subscribe to my channel.